yeah, the origins of Nemesis lie in uh, 2008 editor Pat Mills and I wanted to work together on a series on our own. We had done uh, Robusters and the spin off ABC Warriors together, um, but shared with great, a great many artists, and it was always a bit of a, a kind of hodgepodge situation trying to make it um, a cohesive story out of so many people being involved. So. Uh, Nemesis grew out of a discussion we had where we were talking about our mutual Catholic backgrounds. Pat was a, uh, an altar boy, in a church altar boy, and I was in the uh, choir. So we were talking about our various experiences and uh, horrifying nuns and terrifying priests. And really it grew out of a, a story we did called a terror tube, which used a, a concept we introduced in Robusters, this uh, chase down a tube system. Pat was really keen on. Uh, the group editor at the time absolutely hated it. He despised that robust story. He wanted it removed, but it was too late, it had to run. So our revenge was doing it again, but with a new character. And um, really, most of the time when it was spent developing um, in the early days, Torquemada, Torquemada and the Terminators were, um, I mean, to get the kind of flip angle on it, it was. We, we have to make the humans, um, who are normally the good guys, look so instantly evil looking that you immediately take the side of the aliens, whatever they're doing. So giving them a kind of, um, con uh, kind of Inquisition, Ku Klux Klan hooded look, that's instant, everybody knows what that means, it's, it's, it's resolutely bad. So it grew out of that really and um, I was delighted because I could design everything from the ground up and not have to send notes to other people sharing the strip. And we we, we laughed for all, all the, the, the years we worked on it, we were just laughing all the time on the phone at these situations, but generally the situations we put talk and matter in. Because so Nemesis was the, the through line kind of holding the story together, but most of the fun was around how evil can we make talk and matter. The character designs in, in Nemesis were, um, as I, I, I did the, the Inquisition look, I sent him sketches. Um, the Blitzspear I designed on my own, but when we came to introduce Nemesis, who actually physically appeared a bit, bit later in a summer special story, um, I designed a character uh, kind of like Nemesis, but the head was more like a, like a Minotaur or something, it's kind of a bullheaded character. And we, we weren't very happy with it, and we were talking about it, and Pat said, why don't you give him a head like the Blitzspear? And I thought, that's it, that's great. So. His head grew out of that Blitzspear look and seemed kind of natural. So that was, um, like most of the work we did together was collaborative. The, the reason I left the Nemesis series, and it was with considerable regret, was 2000 AD, at the point I was leaving in the, in the early 80s, um, wasn't the fun it had been in the late 70s. There was more and more interference from, from management and increasing interference. Uh, DC Comics had sent people over uh, headhunting for British artists and writers. Very early days of that they got Brian Bolland and uh, Dave Gibbons working for them. And I'd met with DC guys Dick Giordano and Joel Orlando. And you have to remember in those days we weren't, we weren't given our artwork back. Uh, the only reason there were credits was because I put them in a comic when I was art editor. Um, we were treated really, really badly. And it was I'd love Nemesis, but I knew I'd, I'd be there another 10 years, being treated appallingly by IPC around 2008 at the time, and I put the hell with it, you know, it's time to, to, to move, and it was a great, great pity, I do, uh, I regretted it at the time, and I never read um, any Nemesis stories after I left, I sort of stayed away from it, so uh, um, the only time I ever touched a character again was when I did a very final episode with Pat, which he asked me to do, but even then I didn't read the stuff, up to the final episode. <laughs> Looking back on my work on Nemesis, I saw, I saw, uh, I'd seen Nemesis as the start of my career, my uh, comic art career. The earlier work, Robusters and um, a couple of uh, ABC Warriors I did, they were kind of finding my feet work and I'm less comfortable looking at them and I'm looking at, say, the Nemesis collections where I can see, yeah, yeah they were quite primitive early on, but I can see it's, it's coming together.